Yo, what is up everyone? This is your boy Nemesis and welcome to another Tekken 7 YouTube video and today my boys I have something special for you. If you love Tekken Law, then please this is a video for you. I'm introducing a new series on my channel called Tekken Law. Basically I'll be explaining everything law related in Tekken 7 that includes character storylines and like the main storylines, everything law based in Tekken. And I thought to myself, the first character I'll start with is Steve, because it's one of my favorite stories in the game. So if you love Steve and if you love uh, the Tekken storyline, please, this is a place to be. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so who is Steve Fox? Steve was a young British boxer enjoying his run as a middleweight champion of the world. Like, obviously, this guy is cracked, he has to be a champion. <laughs> so, adopted during infancy, Steve sought the identity of his biological parents as well as the origin of the scar on his arm. I don't know about you guys, but if I was born without parents and with a scar on my arm, you, hell, I know I'm searching for my history, but I don't know where that shit is from. Like, I have to know. So one day, Steve was ordered by a mafia group to throw a high stakes fight, but he refused <laughs> and instead he won the fight. But this man is broken, <laughs> so he wins the fight. Unfortunately for him, the mafia made good on their threat and put a price on Steve's head. With the mafia in hot pursuit, Steve fled England for the United States and led a life on the run. Damn, so this man has been on the run for a while, huh? But Steve soon realized that no matter what he did, the Mafia would eventually catch and kill him. Motivated by the realization, Steve sought the limelight once again and entered the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. So we now know why Steve joined uh, Tekken 4. If you guys don't know, Steve was introduced in Tekken 4. And the reason why he joined the, the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4, which is the Tekken, you know, Tekken 4, he knew that it was inevitable to keep running from the Mafia, so he just eventually just joined, you know, he said fuck it, <laughs> enjoyed the tournament. So during the period of the King of Anfis Tournament 4, uh, Steve manages to successfully create the Mishima Zaibatsu data room, uh, the labs. He's trying to find out some information on his past, like obviously, you know, he was just scarred, don't know where his parents is from, so he obviously wants to know more about himself. So from a computer, Steve learns that he was conceived through vitro fertilization from Nina Williams' egg. Here's a test tube, baby. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. So either way, he is Nina's mom, uh, basically through test tubes and all that stuff. So now going way back, it goes way back to the Mishima Zaibatsu. So after reclaiming the Mishima Zaibatsu from his son and witnessing the power of the devil, first hand in the second king of iron fist tournament the one and only heihachi mishima began his own research into the terrifying power of the devil jin so mishima heihachi himself is the one who begins the research on you know, the devil jin so this is all heihachi's fault i mean it's always heihachi it has to be one of them mishima's bra heihachi or kazuya <laughs> one of them fuckers so trying to replicate the superhuman strength the mishima is about to start a genetic modification plan with the goal of replicating the effects of the gene on regular humans through the creation of a synthetic devil gene. Damn, this man really wanted the power of the devil gene. He actually used eggs from the assassin Nina Williams, who was cryonogically frozen by Dr. B. Uh, you guys remember Dr. B from Tekken 3? He was also in Tekken Tag as well. In order to create the babies that he used to conduct these experiments, most of the children died during this process and ultimately the super soldier program was considered a failure so steve was a part of this huge experiment conducted by uh heihachi was trying to replicate you know the power of the devil gene so he decides to use nina williams <laughs> nina's eggs bra so this this is why nina always looks young if you guys didn't know she was she's been frozen for i don't know how long during uh, this time, uh, he actually was doing his experiments. This is why he didn't remain a MILF in the game for the whole damn time, bro. <laughs> so one of his children in the program was known as um, Subject NT01, aka Steve Foxiru. A doctor super supervising Steve's experimentation, Emma Cleason, 
who is also known as um, Leo's mom, if you guys didn't know. She developed a bond with Steve, much with the disapproval of her more, you know, clinically minded colleagues. They hated the fact that she became close to Steve. It was also Emma who helped Steve escape the laboratories at the age of six by faking his death in an experiment. So the only reason Steve survived is because uh, Leo's mom faked his death, bro. Like, damn, you, you owe your life to this woman, Steve. You owe your goddamn life to her. So after all this, Steve was most likely brought uh, to an orphanage and was adopted by British parents, earning his nationality later in life. It is also unknown to what extent, if any, the experiments done in his physical capabilities. But what is known is that 15 years later, Steve would be known as one of the world's best middleweight boxing champions. Now this brings us back to the beginning of the video, I explained about his goal in Tekken 4. So this is how we end up with Steve now infiltrating the Mishima Zaibatsu labs and finding out his whole history about him being a, you know, a test tube baby, learning that Nina is his parents. And from this point onwards, Steve saw revenge against Heihachi in the Mishima Zaibatsu that no one would ever do such horrible experiments again. This is what led Steve to go to join um, the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. So now, during the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5, or during Tekken 5, uh, Steve successfully manages to infiltrate the Mishima Zaibatsu labs again. I do not know whoever is guarding these labs, but whoever is guarding these labs, bro, needs to be fired because there is no way you can have labs that are so easy to <laughs> infiltrate, bro. So anyway, in these laboratories, um, you guys have seen Steve's Steve's Tekken 5 ending. If you haven't, uh, Steve is seen destroying the lab equipment. Like this man is beast, bro. He's just destroying everything, the beakers, the test tubes and everything. So he destroys everything, then he looks at the tank, which either contains a life form or is a place that he was conceived, like one of the old uh, tanks that they use to cryogenically freeze an Anina, something similar to that, but it's empty. So he sees the glass, like he touches it, like really emotional, you know. Ah, the feels, bro, the feels hit me quite a bit here. Then he punches the glass. <laughs> That's what Steve does best. He breaks the glass, then he bend, he burns the lab, then you know walks away, satisfied. So Steve infiltrates the labs and burns everything in the lab, hoping that no one will ever do such horrific experiments to anyone ever again. But this does not conclude Steve's story in Tekken. Fast forward to Tekken Six. After destroying the Mishima Zaibatsu laboratories, Steve has cleared his conscience. Like, I don't know about you guys, but if I was an orphan, had a huge scar on my arm and didn't know where I was from, then I discovered that I'm a test your baby, bro. I get to the labs where I was conceived and burn everything. Like, I would be chilling, bro. I'd be like, bro, I'm in a good spot right now. <laughs> I'm in a really good place. So yeah, this is where Steve is right now. During the period of Tekken 6, he has his conscience clear because he's managed to find out where he's from and what he went through and all that stuff. So now, during Tekken 6, he tries to re-enter the world of boxing once uh, once again. But surprise, surprise, another goddamn Mishima <laughs> is at the verge of everything. Because now, there's a war. There's an outbreak of war around the globe. And you know, all tournaments have been cancelled. Like you can't have a, tourna a tourna boxing tournament anymore. It just doesn't work like that. So now, without boxing, Steve has lost his identity, you know, his livelihood and has an unfortunate turn that quickly led to a very unfulfilling life, like just feels incomplete, you know. So at that time, uh, Steve receives an invitation from Law and Paul uh, to train together with him. So if you started Tekken at a very early stage, they were Tekken 6, Tekken Tag, you can see a lot of uh, Steve, Law, Paul videos, because they actually began training together in Tekken 6 to join the tournament and try to improve their chances of winning the tournament and split the money equally. So that's how Steve saw it as a good opportunity to experience, you know, other fighting styles and accepted the invitation. That's basically Steve's entire storyline of Tekken 6. Not much is attached upon concerning his, you know, ties with the Mishima Zaibatsu, Nina, and his origin. It's more like a filler, uh, you know, a filler storyline. So there's not much to do 
sorry, not much to go upon in terms of you know law in Tekken 6. Moving on to Tekken 7. So now in Tekken 7, Steve has had plenty of runnings with you know the Mishima as I battle uh, coming from the past, coming from Tekken 4. But during all that period, he never gave up his search for information about his past. Like obviously, if you are born, you know, not knowing where you're from, like you just you just you just can't live your life normally. So his mother, his mother's identity remained a mystery. Uh, Nina's name just kept on popping up everywhere, time and time again. Nina Williams was everywhere this man was. So. Believing she knew something, Steve began investigating her whereabouts until he came about um, came up with a promising lead. The information led him to an imposing cathedral. That's where he confronts Nina William and Nina explains everything about uh, Steve's past. She also knew what she went through in terms of being chronologically frozen and her eggs being used to conduct you know the devil gene experiment of the actually being um uh involved in the you know the devil gene experiments so i'm not really a fan of the ending the taken six ending with steve and nina i feel like it didn't touch on a lot you know she just kind of says i'm not your mom like i want to be a mom to you you know fuck off you just you just test your baby to me i don't give it a crap <laughs> i kind of like this uh, due to the fact that Nina, Nina is an assassin, bro. She's like a cold blood assassin. She kills for a living, so you're not really going to get any sympathy for me, you know. That's pretty much what she meant by all that. So Steve just Steve explains what he's been going through. Nina tells him everything, everything she knows, and you know, um, I don't know. Like, people attack her, then Steve tries to chase them. Like it was a very crappy ending. And that's pretty much where Steve's law ends uh, in Tekken 7. Now, in terms of law, like Steve has one of the best storylines in the game. Free, easy, easy. Top top 10, easily top 10 best storylines in Tekken 7. Or in Tekken in general. And I feel his story is not yet completed. Uh, for Tekken 8, I'm hoping he gets some sort of sympathy from Nina. You know, I hope Steve will be like beacon of hope to nina in terms of her not always having to kill be an assassin you know work for jean and Archie. it would be chill but it would be really good chill have like you know nina and steve go on some vacation or some shit like that <laughs> that's what i'm hoping for i'm hoping for a happy ending for steve and i do like nina as well like nina has just been a bland character in the past she's very bland you know she's just an assassin doesn't smile doesn't laugh just she's just she just she just blend. I don't know how else to describe it. So for me personally, that's how I would love Steve's story to end. And that's Steve's storyline, guys. I'm not really good at narrating, so I hope this was good enough for you guys. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you. Please don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and yeah, GG, my boys. Don't forget to subscribe!